Um, these are the different types of systems that really don't work, but they give the public a false impression that they're doing something. And um, these systems use an averaging method. So you see when they, when they, um, what they do is they average, they average the, um, uh, they average the, the whole face, you see? So it's analyzing the whole face. Now here's, here's a, um, here's a really clear example. You see here in this one, in this one there, you see how it's taking the temperature of the guy with the glasses. Okay. So someone with glasses, you cannot see their, their duct, pure duct temperature. So this, um, these systems all just average the face. Even, even the, uh, so now, even the exergen, like we have the, the super high end exergen, which is calibrated for life to NISD standards. Um, not, not this one, but this is their top of the line consumer model. And as you can see from the reviews, okay, there's an honest review here. Okay. You see that custom reviews, it's not that satisfactory. It's not, the bell curve doesn't look good of the, the distribution of the reviews. And the first review, this one here, it's from a nurse. And we'll use this as an illustration. Um, however, she says here, first of all, it's not, uh, they were accurate, was within half a Celsius of the hospital grade thermometer. Uh, this is, by the way, this is an NISD certified uh, for life thermometer. The only device in the world. Okay, so more accurate than the hospital grade thermometer. So, however, it can range, look at this, it varies. So it's no longer really usable for fever screening. And after one year, look at that, it became essentially useless for fever screening. So all in all, she's unhappy, okay, because she's a nurse and she knows it does not work. This is one of the reasons why um, you need something that can be calibrated. So um, let's talk about what we have discovered. We've discovered that tear duct temperature, uh, we have a device that does elevated tear duct temperature testing. It's got this. Now you can just watch this on video, uh, on YouTube rather. Um, but we have, we've found that different people have different temperatures, okay? Now, I'm not going to play the whole video here because you can just watch it yourself, but you can see that um, what we found is that, first of all, you have to take your glasses off or it doesn't read correctly. And number two, different people have different temperatures. Some people just have a low temperature, lower than what you'll find in systems that average the... See, we have pinpoint accuracy with this device. We are actually pinpointing on a pixel basis. See, this fellow here has an abnormally low temperature, okay? Yet, when you look at the ones that are in YouTube, you don't see, you'll see that they're all the same temperature range, okay? Because they're only measuring an, the temporal for, you know, the whole face, they're measuring the whole face on an average basis. Whereas we are measuring the only consistent, um, the only consistent area of the body that can be measured accurately without touch, the tear duct temperature. And, um, you know, if uh, you can, you can see what uh, Marcus at Movie Therm says about that. So we have, um, the advantage of this is instead of the, uh, Marcus lists something like six or seven or eight different reasons why thermal imaging camera systems really don't work in real life. We have narrowed it down from that long list that he has to just two or three. So the advantage, however, this system, tear duct testing, is slow. It is not, it is not a fast system. So we cannot do, we can't, with one camera, we, you know, we cannot measure tear duct quickly because there are many errors that need, that need to be adjusted for manually. And of course, the circadian rhythm needs to be measured for manually as well. So not, uh, tear duct testing is not 100% useless for fever testing. However, it is slow and it won't be handled. One camera will not be able to handle uh, a fast-moving crowd. Okay, that's all I have to say. Bye. Thanks for watching.